Let's take a look at Scenario Analysis menu. From this menu, users can build custom emissions inventories using their own vehicle activity information. The server generates outputs by scaling MFAC default emissions output relative to their activity input against MFAC's default values. This menu provides essentially the same functionality as the scenario generation or SG mode in MFAC PC application. The important difference is, is that this web version is much faster and easier to use as the web tool generates outputs from pre-processed MPEG output. This menu has two parts. First, at Generate Template menu, you generate scenario templates in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet format. Then, you edit the template as you want and submit them here to generate your custom emissions inventories. Let's look at the template generation form. Most input items are similar to those in emissions analysis or project analysis form. Reason, region type, calendar year, and season. VMT data type is a unique option for scenario analysis menu. If you choose total daily VMT or vehicle miles traveled, you'll be changing vehicle activity by changing total VMT value in the generated template. Or if you choose the other option, VMT by vehicle and fuel type, you'll be able to change VMT by vehicle type and fuel type. If you click custom hourly speed fractions, you can also specify speed distribution of each vehicle type. Next, SP375 analysis option produces a template for analyzing SP375 related projects. Shortly speaking, SP375 is about reducing greenhouse gas emissions by decreasing BMT with community strategies. So it turns off the advanced clean car program that is a technology-based regulations for light-duty vehicles in MPEG. You can find more information from this help document. Okay, let's generate some templates. Let's generate one with the total daily VMT option. It is quick, right? The other with VMT by vehicle and fuel type. So we generated two templates. Let's look at the template. This is the template with total daily VMT option. You have two worksheets as you can see over here, settings, daily total VMT. Settings describes what the template is for. You can change the green cells. So you can change season month value from here, but you're not supposed to edit other cells. In daily total VMT sheets, you are provided with the default MFAC VMT information here as a starting point for the region you requested. Now Los Angeles South Coast Air District area has about 280 million miles of VMT. You can change this value to something like uh, 200 million miles, like this. Now you can save it. Now let's look at the template we generated with VMT by vehicle and fuel type option. Like the previous one, it has two worksheets. The first setting sheet is the same, but the second sheet has more rows. Here you have, in fact, default VMT values for each vehicle and fuel type. You can change these values as you want. Now let's submit the templates. Submissions can be made here at Process Template menu. If you go down, 
you can find the file upload form. If you click the plus icon over here, you will have file dialog from your file explorer. Or you can simply drag and drop. I'll do drag and drop. Now we have the two templates we generated, right? Next, you are supposed to choose output report types here. CSV, comma separate value format is the default. The other two options are some special types that are used to support some car programs. You can find more information from this help icon. Now you can submit. Processing two templates took just several seconds, right? When the processing is done, the outputs are summarized in the table here. You can access previously submitted template files in this column. You can see the report types you recasted with the template. Then you can download generated emission result with the download buttons in this column. It has a link to the generated files on the server. The output information is stored in your browser. You can delete one by one using this delete icon or everything with this button. I'd like to mention that pushing the delete button here does not actually delete the data on the server. It just disappears from this table only. The output files are stored until the server runs out of disk space. If you resubmit the same template and your previous outputs still exist on the server, we'll be actually getting the previous output. So keep your templates and submit whenever you want. You can simply share the templates so that others can submit them again to get the same results too. Submitting the same content files over and over does not hurt the server. Different file names with the same content will also be treated the same. It was designed this way to provide a continuity in your work, keeping the website simple but functional without acquiring your personal information and authentication.